you know, I, I saw you smiling over there when we saw the renderings and they were talking about the fan experience. You know, when you see it finally all come together, it's revealed. What, what does that mean to see all what's happening? Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to put into words. Um, the, the level of excitement that I have, but also the level of responsibility that we have. Like I said in there, it's a, it's a big dream and it's a bold investment. you got to be worthy of that investment, uh, not only as a coach, but as the staff and, and our players. we we got to work really hard to make sure that uh, the shareholders get a return on that investment. How do you compare how much something like this matters now to five, six years ago? I mean, in the NIL era, how do you decide, you know, how much you put into something like this? It all matters. Um, everything's evaluated when, when a recruit is on a visit. And so, you know, if you have a lesser stadium than somebody else and you're paying the same price in NIL, then then you're out you're outgunned, so to speak. And so, um, you know, our state legislature and our board was at the forefront of being creative with the NIL space. Uh, and so we had an advantage there, and now I believe with the, the, uh, this stadium project and the investment from the, the board and President Choi, I, I think we're just continuing to up the standard of what Mizzou football wants to be and the level that we want to compete in the SEC. When you talk about upping capacity, you know, adding a competitive advantage, how big is that, especially when you see the sellouts from last year yeah. and the momentum moving forward? Well, I think it, it, it's it's all rounded, right? You're, you're enclosing the stadium, so from a sound decibel standpoint, from a video LED lights, um, that's going to be an incredible experience. But you're also talking about generating revenue. Um, you know, when you're talking about increasing the, the seating by 4,000, but all of those seats are a premium seat space um, and suites, you're talking about generating revenue. And, and that's going to be something that benefits the entire athletic department, uh, not just the football program. You know, there's Football is what it is as far as a revenue generating sport for the entire athletic department. We need to find ways uh, continually that we can do that so that everybody in the athletic department can be successful. You know, you've mentioned over the past few months of your involvement in this project. Can you walk us through how that maybe changed over the months as, as the process went on and on? Um, very involved uh, from top to bottom. You know, I think one of the things that was really cool was that one of the uh, um, architects actually went to Mizzou. And so he had a, a understanding of what it meant to be at those games and, and really a, a generational um, uh, understanding what it meant to graduate from a student experience to a donor experience. And, and uh, he wanted to have a heroic feel of the stadium. And I think um, anytime you're going to be driving on stadium, you're going to drive past this this iconic feel, you know, and so uh, I think they did an excellent job. You know, we had some ideas and some conversations and obviously some tweaks, um, but to get it to the point that it is now, it's, uh, in my opinion, it's very, very impressive and, and hopefully the fans uh, are responding to that. I don't know if the players got to see it at all, but, you know, uh, have you heard from any of them the excitement about this project? And, I mean, any glimpses for them? Yeah, they, they haven't seen it at all. Uh, it was a total surprise. We wanted to keep it all quiet. Um, so I'm sure a lot of them will be excited. I'm sure some of them are going to be like, well, well we're going to have to come back and experience it because they're going to be graduated when it's, when it's uh, completed. But w they all know that they had a part in building it. You know, if it wasn't for them, you know, I'm thinking about the, the seniors who are getting uh, drafted next Thursday. They're going to be able to look back and, and know that they had a part in building this and creating the momentum that made it happen. You mentioned wanting to live up to the investment. And yeah. Dr. Choi said, OK, now this is our expectation, yeah. right? Can you just talk about I, pressure is not the right word, but as things like this build. <laughs> it is right, the right word. It, okay. Yeah, but, it is. but pressure is a privilege um, and it's an opportunity. And, you know, you, you, you live up to expectations and standards. Um, and so by raising the bar, it just raises the amount of uh, energy and work ethic that we all have to, to, to put into it. But, um, you know, I think our staff, myself, our student athletes, we thrive on competition. We thrive on expectations. And so um, that's what we wanted when we came here. I, I remember our opening press conference. I said I was here to, to win championships. Uh, and now the board's saying, OK, well, talk's cheap. Takes, uh, <laughs> takes a nice stadium to get it done. So let's get that part of it done. So we've been recruiting at a high level. I think this just enhances that, um, our ability to do that. And, and uh, now we got to continue to win at a high level. Coach, when you look back at your arrival here four years ago, did you think you'd be at a point this early where you know you've got a early. $50 million stadium? Early. You know, right at this point. Um, you know, it's like I said in my comments, little by little, little became a lot. You know, um, when we first got here, there, there, you know, we needed lights on a practice field. You know, we needed new grass practice field. 
Then we asked to have a new indoor facility. Then we asked to redo the weight room. And now we've asked for a, a $250 million stadium renovation. And so um, little by little, little became a lot. But we also delivered results along the way. Uh, you know, winning uh, games against Arkansas, beating South Carolina, you know, uh, beating the defending national champion, beating Florida in, in, in overtime on a two-point conversion, making 61-yard field goals. You know, we've delivered some results that have in, uh, captured the fan base, re-energized re -energized the fan base, and said, let's continue to buy into this. All those things you just mentioned, everybody always wants to know what's next. Is, is there anything left on a wish list? <laughs> yeah, beating Murray State week one. <laughs> so... You know, I, I think um, we know what our process is in order to be successful, and it's going to be a focused mentality on us uh, and our team. Um, but we, we do return a lot of really good players, and, and I think we have a mindset towards what can we accomplish this year. A couple more questions for Coach. Uh, Eli, I apologize if I missed some of this earlier. You mentioned disruption up there today and how important it was for you to not let this become changed by that. Um, how important is it that you guys were able to get when you said you would. Yeah, I, I, um, I cannot thank Dr. Choi, um, Bob Blitz, Robin Winokur enough. Um, you know, as soon as the disruption happened, they were focused on what did we need to do. They named an interim AD, Marcy Girton. And, you know, Marcy really rallied the athletic department, uh, rallied the board. Um, and President Choi's leadership said, we're not slowing down. We're going to continue to move forward. We're going to look at this adversity as an opportunity to improve the situation that we're in. And so all of us just said, we're going to continue to work, and we're going to work really hard, and we're going to deliver to the fans, to the alumni, to the student athletes, uh, to the University of Missouri what we promised them, which was to continue the momentum. You know, and, and I know there's been a lot of questions about the timing and all this different stuff. We didn't worry about the outside noise. We focused on just doing our job, and I think everybody should be really pleased with today. And so I can't thank uh, the leadership of our board and President Choi and, and Marcy enough for delivering today. Thanks for the time.